What's going on guys? Little guides here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video we have a 532 and a 5212 and a 3-5-2 setup. This is a meta team that you can buy for 2 million coins that can play in those formations. We're going to start off with the 4-3-3 just for chemistry purposes. It's going to be a 2 million coins and of course we're going to go through the most meta players for that budget and you can always bring it down if you want to. The first card has to be Neymar. Um, if you've got any budget or any team above a million coins, not having Neymar is like going into Nando's and just buying chips. You just don't do that. So Neymar has to go into the team the best gold card in the game. Um, you know, Ronaldo is a top tier player, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, but Ronaldo, but Ronaldo is good, but Neymar is just miles ahead, especially at that five star weak foot. Now, if it was up to me, um, I'd probably say, go ahead and buy um, Neymar and Ronaldo and play them together. But an element of keeping this team feasible, we just left Neymar in. The second player you want is, so we've got someone who's a top tier striker, five star, five star, good GL team balance, can shoot on either foot with a hunter, can do everything. We need now a defensive centre mid that can do a bit of everything, that can distribute the ball going forward in a 5-3-2 or 3-5-2 and we have gone with Renato Sanchez probably one of my most favorite players in center mid this year a top tier card the idea the key thing is the high high work rates and the four star four star five foot nine but you put a shadow on him he can do absolutely everything I'm looking at that agility and balance mainly being a thing where you can bring the ball to Renato Sanchez drew a pass to set the first or second centre mid and then pass the ball to your striker. That's what's very, very important. So have a defensive CDM that can both attack and that can defend as well. Um, if we go over to the left back role, we're actually going for like a bit of a hybrid league over here. We've gone with Diego Dalo, um, another top, top tier card that I've been using in centre back. Um, a very, very good card, a very much underrated card for the price of only 30k now. He's an absolute bargain. High, medium, three star, three star. I uh, mean, looking at just looking at his, his height, to be honest, in combination with agility and balance, defending and pace and physicality and beautiful passing. There's not that many good options you can get in a back three. But this is definitely a card that you want. Now, bringing it all together, we need a second striker. Again, it's up to me. I want someone with a five-star weak foot. I want to be deadly on either foot to guarantee your chances in front of goal. And I think we're going to go with Benya. Now, depending on your budget. Now, if you've got a higher tier budget, go for the headliner one. Because I'm pretty sure not everyone has the highest of budgets. We're just going to go with a second informed Ben Yedda. We all know who he is. A complete meta card. Top tier GL team balance. You've put a hunter on him. Um, there's no questions asked. He can get the job done. High, high. Five star, four star. Neymar's got five star, five star. He's got five star, four star. You've got everything you do want for a second striker. Leave him on stay forward because his stamina isn't the best. Um, but again, top tier card. Top tier GL team balance. Put a finisher, I put a hunter on him instead of a finisher is what I would say simply for the fact that you max out the sprint speed or no, we get to 95 but you max out the finishing. So Ben Yedda and Neymar on strike is a two deadly trio. Well, deadly trio was going to be a deadly trio in a second. Um, the third card we're going to go with the attack is we're going to go with one card that you might have seen is a very new card that's been added to the game and is Diata. Um, a top, top tier card. Now, this is the card you want to play as a left wing back, a right wing back, a left mid, a right mid. In my systems, you want someone that's got good stamina. Perfect for a left mid, a right mid role. Top tier stamina, top tier GL team balance. Very, very good finishing. 98 sprint speed, high medium, four star, four star, five foot nine. Everything you want for someone that can play as a left mid and right mid. I would go with two options. You can either go with a finisher. I would go with a finisher. That way you get his finishing and his attack positioning up and his shot power. But also you get his balance up as well. So I'll definitely go with a finisher chemistry style. Before a left mid and right mid will be absolutely perfect. Four star, four stars or everything that you do want. And um, we're going over to the second uh, second midfielder here. So you've got Renato Sanchez. Um, we want someone else that can really play alongside Renato Sanchez. We have gone with Lise. Malou. Now, one card that I was a bit skeptical with, I'm not saying he's 100% perfect. Um, he doesn't have the best of balance, 70 balance, but he is four star, four star, six foot one, high, high, just like Renato Sanchez, and who's also four star, four star. So you've got two perfect dynamic duo. And the benefit of release Malou is he's not as agile as Renato Sanchez, but you stick a shadow on him. He's got that top tier stamina, strength, and aggression. Stand tackling, defense awareness, interceptions. He's got decent dribbling, very, very good passing, good shooting, and good passing. 
a good pace, should I say. So you put a shadow on him to get the pace up because it is a bit too low. And you get the defensive stats up. You got a very good box-to-box -box midfielder in particular being more dynamic in the defensive role. And of course, the 80 balance if you want to. 70 balance, you can of course even put an engine on him if you really want to. So you want to sort that out. But that's going to be the other cards. Uh, we're going to go with someone else with a five-star weak foot because obviously I want everyone with a five-star weak foot. If you have the money, I would say go with... Um, I would say go with Neymar. I mean, not Neymar. I would go with Nedved over here and play him off chemistry. Um, but we're going to go with another card. I think his name is... I think it's Jonathan. Jonathan David. Let me double check. Yes, it is. Jonathan David. Um, we're looking for his actual new card. Um, I'll be honest. Another top tier card. You know, you're looking at this guy. High, high. Three star skill moves. The only bummer. The only downside. Five star weak foot though. And you look at his stats... Top tier sprint speed, top tier shooting, um, agility and balance. He's got the physicality and the strength, so you can, of course, upload him onto the wing. He does lack that aggression, but it's not the end of the world. Um, he can, of course, header the ball as well. And, of course, got agility and balance. I would go with a finisher chemistry style. That way you get the agility and balance up and the finishing. But we are. I'm thinking about playing him in cam, and I'll explain to you why we'll do that in a second. If you are going to be playing him in cam, it might be worth going with the engine chemistry style. Um, but anyway, let's fill in the the rest of the back. Uh, we're going with Quadrado. So Diego Dallo is one of the best center backs I've used this game. Um, I would say definitely top five. And um, we've obviously gone with Quadrado, record breaker, because he's the best center back that I've used in this game. No questions asked. We're going we're going with a record breaker, not the not the man the match, not the the, the other one. We're going with a record breaker just to show you proof that I have him in my team. People are like, oh, do you actually have him? I do. I've had him for so many games now. The best card I've ever used in the game. Um, for CDM, 300 games, I'll be honest, top tier card, look at his stand tackling and slide tackling, his default stats, best centre back in a game, I would say top three in my opinion, um, for the goalkeeper, we've gone with Chesney, um, purely because we want to get the chemistry, um, if you want to get, most goalkeepers in this game are trash anyway, um, so we've gone with Chesney because he can get the job done, you know, the most important thing with Chesney is of course he's six foot five, so he's quite tall, that's all you need for a goalkeeper, we have then gone with Cole, because Ashley Cole is one that's available on Icon Swaps. If you can't afford Ashley Cole, you can actually get a normal Ashley Cole instead. And the lower tier one. Um, but if you have done a Swaps, get Ashley Cole. If you haven't, just buy them anyway. Otherwise, you can get a cheaper version. And for the last card we're going to go with is Golovin. Now, Golovin, of course, is a top, top tier card. Um, he's actually gone up in value um, because of the price of fodder. Um, but it's an actual insult that this card was at one time 13, 15, I don't know, I bought it for like 13k or something. High, high, four star, four star. Another card that's perfect as a left mid and right mid. Top tier pace, shooting, dribbling, defending, and he's got 96 stamina. So you've got two left mid and right mids. Both have, of course, a four star, four star. And if you want to turn it into a back five, you just add Golovin into the mix. So there you've got the most perfect hybrid team ever. So how does it really look like in game? Well, I'll show you. Um, this is what it looks like in or in game, should I say. This is how it looks for chemistry. As you can see, everyone gets full chemistry. It gets 100 chemistry apart from two players. That is Quadrado and that is Cole. That is completely fine because these two players on seven chemistry is probably better than any other centre-back pairing in that price range. You will not get better that I can almost guarantee you. If you want to reduce the price, go for Gold Renato Sanchez, go for Gold Quadrado, um, reduce Ashley Cole and Ben Yedder, and it should be about a million coins. You can probably get this done for under a million coins. So how do we play it in game? Well, if we're going to be going for the 3-5-2, which is the way that I will do it, in my way, in my style, I would do it, of course. You've got Golovin on the left, or the right is up to you. And as I said, Dieta and Golovin, both four-star, four-star, top-tier stamina, everything you want for that kind of player. Diego Delo is a left centre back. We've got Renato Sanchez in the middle. And then we've got Quadrado as the centre centre back. Now, you could put Ashley Cole there. There is this thing where Ashley Cole, you can argue, is a bit better in centre back. Um, it's kind of a debatable one. He's a bit shorter, but he has got the better defending stats. Um, I would say you can swap the back three around any single time. Let people use centre backs at, um, and, and instead of full back centre back. You just laugh at them, to be honest, at this point if you're not using full backs. But yeah, the striker. Now, people might be thinking, hang on, isn't Neymar the best place for him in camp? You're right, Neymar is the best cam in this in this this team, should I say. But because Neymar is better than David, you put him in striker. You always put your best strikers in a strike position, and then you kind of downgrade them depending on how good they are. If I had, like, for example, Dieta here, and let's say Neymar wasn't in the team, then of course, I mean, let's say, for example, then 
Well, let's say, for example, I had Cruyff here. Let's say David was Cruyff. Then I'll have Cruyff there and Neymar camp. But since, as you can see, we haven't got a better striker than Neymar. Neymar goes a striker alongside Ben Yedda. That's why I said put the engine on David to get his passing up. Um, we've got Diata and Golovin on the wing. Least Bellou and Arte Sanchez. And that would be the 3-5-2. Now, if we go into the 5-2-1-2, it's the exact same approach. The exact same approach for the 5 2 one 2 um, except for we're going to be we're going with the exact same system nothing's really changed um, and again you can kind of word this around however you want don't forget Diaz is perfect for people say oh Diaz hasn't got the defending stats it doesn't really matter for a left wing back it's not that important but if you are really paranoid and you really really want the good def better defending stats you can put a guardian or you can put a sentinel on him but it's honestly not going to make that much of a difference so don't waste your time in my opinion and if you are talking about the 5-3-2 then a way I'll do it for the 5-3-2 is someone has to go in centre mid. So what I would say is have David as the attacking left centre mid. Have both Neymar and Yedder on stay forward. And then that's the exact way that I would do it. And there you go. That's the perfect team that you can buy for 2 million. I don't think there's a better team that you can buy. You may want to purchase Nedved as opposed to David. Like if you're going to be playing, as I mentioned, in the 3-5-2. Personally speaking, I would rather get... Um, name uh, Nedved over there because Nedved 89 has got the agility and balance has got a bit of everything and he's got the passing but as apart from that that is the most perfect team perfect players everyone's got exactly what you need two four star four star with high stamina the five star weak foot trio two dynamic center mids and fast pacey fullbacks that got good defending and good base stats anyway guys thanks for watching take it easy and i'll catch you next time peace out